I'm going to do a series of videos here talking about Bartender label design software. And the topic will be creating um, a UID barcode label or nameplate. There's several subsections to this. I think we'll divvy, uh, divvy this up into multiple short videos, hopefully short. Um, the first one is just going to be using Bartender to define your label or nameplate size. Now, in Bartender, once you install it, you go up here to page size, you can actually, under the stock tab, you can pick any company's um, library of labels. So if it's a Zebra printer, you can buy Zebra Media and they have part numbers and you can just toggle through these to see all these different sizes that are available to you. You can use that as a starting point for your, your layout. And that's very convenient if it's a thermal printer and something that has a predetermined size. Um, but in addition to what Bartender gives you out of the box, you can also go in and create your own custom sizes here. So if you go into page and, you know, there's there's all kinds of options here for what you might want to do. And there, this option here is based upon what printer you're selecting. So if you go in here and select, um, in this case, I'm going to select um, an epilogue laser. This is a flatbed marking laser. It's got a Maybe in some cases, some models have two foot wide by one foot tall kind of flatbed. Um, and when we set our driver to that, now bartender knows what what's the largest size of product we can put in there. And if I wanted to still use these sizes, I could. But notice how they're laying out here now. My page size is 24 by 12. And my template size is really tiny. So it might be better to create our own custom um layout here and when you do that you can also save them so i've done that as well i've created a an epilogue category and i've stored some predefined uh, options in here for the full bed size and then within that if we wanted to do something different we could so if i go um i'll do an epilogue mini say the layout is not a one by three but rather a one by two and I want to put a certain gap of, let's say, a tenth inch in between each one, something like that. Um, maybe I have too many rows, then I'll put 10, and I'll put columns of 10 so I can do 100, 100 um, decals, 110 decals if I wanted. Well, I'm using, if I'm using Tessa tape, I'm going to have a much smaller page size, right? So it's going to be... Um, I might only be able to do a couple rows because it's going to be less than five inches high. So let's keep it at uh, four. All right. You can put in top margins. So whatever whatever you need to do um, to make it fit within your laser bay, it's up, totally up to you. You can define a shape. You can say I've got a rounded edge. And I if you use print borders on a... Um, on a laser system, and this will create the vector cut that will go around the outside periphery of your nameplate. That's a really nice thing. If you want to call that even a different color so you can see that a little bit better, you can do it that way. You can change your radius to a broader radius or a um, um, more narrow radius. Whatever you want to do, it's completely up to you. And when you're done, now you can actually save that. So if I go into stock again, I say save. And I'll pick my category. I previously created one called Epilogue. You could type something in there too if you wanted. You could just type in a new name, say, I don't know, new tag. That's my new category. And I'll call this first one uh, one by twos and 120 labels, whatever. You can use whatever nomenclature works for you. All right. And now you've got something that if you were to create a new label, you can go back up here and you can say, I want to use um, new tag as a category and that size. And now we've got that again. So that's kind of how you create your own custom sizes within Bartender. What's really nice about this is that all of those custom things get saved to a file. 
a file called customstock.stk. And from this, you can actually manually uh, edit and add new options. You can see I've done that here in the laser marking world. Camcode is one supplier of pre-cut sizes for black anodized. And I've got their entire product library already built in here, right? So it's a much faster way to kind of cut and paste this stuff in from Excel rather than doing a one by one within here. Now, where do you put that? Um, that file is at this location in your C drive, program data, Siegel, bartender, and then custom stock.stk. Now, the program data folder is a hidden folder, so you will have to go up to view and you'll say hidden items. Once you check that, you'll be able to see the program data folder go down to find this file. Okay. You can edit that file, send it back to that location. You can email that to another division or a, uh, like for us, ID integration will create this and then just email that to our customers, have them drop it in. And now they have all of those custom sizes done. All right, that's a quick overview of page sizing and label sizing. And in the next one, we'll start the design process for a UID label.